I wanted to start off and ask you about the, um, I guess, the kind of the inspiration for the show, because I remember um, the Russo brothers talked about how, you know, Three Days of the Condor and Parallax View were kind of inspirations for uh, The Winter Soldier. Um, this kind of almost seems to have, and I, you can correct me if I'm wrong on this, but it kind of reminded me of like, almost like Tango and Cash or like kind of like 80s buddy cop movies. I mean, is that what you were kind of thinking yourself? Oh yeah, for sure. We we um, uh, took inspiration from all the classics, you know, uh, Forty Eight Hours, um, uh, Midnight Express uh, was in there. Let me, I, but I I drew from um, Lethal Weapon was another one. But I drew from um, a, a number of different. Uh, I, I tend to like to mix up genres in my mind, you know. So I'll go uh, a deep dive into everyone from. Uh, like David Lean, you know, on the cinema of it to um, uh, Midnight Cowboy, which of course is a much more, uh, you know, it's not a comedy. Um, Easy Rider, you know, I, I went into a much broader range because I wanted to sort of uh, feed, you know, feed, feed the synapses and uh, stir the pot and come out with something original. Yeah. Um, you know, you've done kind of like I, political thrillers. I mean, I'm thinking of like, you know, 50 Dead Men Walking, for example. Yeah. Uh, um, do you find with something like you know the Marvel the Marvel machine, if you like, that um, I don't want to say it's kind of restrictive, but I mean, do you find that you can't necessarily delve into the kind of ideas that you may not be suitable for it? If you know what I mean. Well, the, uh, to um, to answer your question, I think uh, one of the things that I love about Marvel is that they don't shy from uh, tough topics, yeah. and we take on some big themes in this series and they don't shy from them at all in fact um we push the envelope as much as we can obviously the message the the, the messenger is different because it's it's um it's in a uh you know uh, it's easy to take it's comedy um to some degree although there's some deeply dramatic moments uh in our in our in the series as it you know as it twists and turns um, and we really, you know, because we're talking about everything. For, first of all, we're racism, imperialism, mm -hmm. um, uh, elitism. We're talking about PTSD, healing. You know, these are big, these are meaty and weighty topics So and, and themes. So um, what is terrific about the way they can package that is they do it in, in such a, um, an easy to take way that I think the message um, gets out there so much more, um, what's it, it, you know, uh, that's not to uh, put down a, uh, a dramatic, like a 50 dead man, sure, which yeah. was a much more dramatic kind of, uh, through line, but they, they tackle it in a way that is easy to take and then sticks with you. Yeah. And I love that. Yeah. Um, can we talk about, um, Wyatt Russell? I mean, the reveal from last week's episode of him as kind of the new Captain America, US agent. Um, it feels like, I mean, I, I noticed this in WandaVision as well, and I'd love to get your thoughts on it. The idea of like the Marvel TV shows seem to cut off right at the moment where you're like, oh shit, that's, and then boom, you have to wait till the next episode. For you as a director over the entire series, would you rather people see it in one go or do you want people to have that cliffhanger moment? You know, uh, I might have said had a different answer, um, uh, you know, a year ago, but seeing how this is going to roll out, uh, I love the, the week in between because people get a chance to talk. You know, it's got a very big fan base and they do love to exchange ideas and talk and it gives people a chance to um, uh, ponder what, you know, what could be. And uh, it's, the, it, it's a way to engage very differently. And um, I hadn't really thought of it that way because in the old days when, it, when things dropped week by week, there was also a particular time, right? So it, it felt very constricting. Oh, I, only at eight o'clock on a Friday, whereas this, it drops on a day. And so you can watch it whenever you want. It's just that, you know, they hold back. So it makes the cliffhanger so much more fun then. Um, it also, uh, you know, this is event TV. So it means, um, or it, I call it event entertainment because TV is no longer yeah. a thing. You know, it's it's just a screen, it's just a, a, a way to to, um, to see it. But um, so 
someone, several people said to me, you know, this is so great because I love it as much as I, uh, as my family loves it. And so it, we can all sit down together. Parents and kids can sit down together. Um, you know, obviously it's fair for adult and fair for kids separately as well, because um, it operates on many levels. But I thought that was probably the, the greatest reason, particularly at a time when families are looking for, for vehicles to be together. Yeah. Um, and, and to th roll it out over several weeks does that. Yeah, cool. Okay, I'm getting the timer there, so thanks a lot. Cheers. See? That wasn't so hard. Are you ready? Oh.